What's going on guys? Adam again back with Atomic Garage and today today was getting a little stir crazy. Today I wanted to get out of the shop, get out of the house rather, because I haven't had a chance to work on my car and seems like forever. So what I wanted to do, and I've alluded to it in my last video, what I want to do today is see about butchering my hood a tad bit so I can make a hood scoop so the hood can shut all the way down. That is imperative. So come on, take a look so I can show you what I've done so far. So as you can see right here, I've got these two tape lines. And what I still need to do is measure it from the corner of the hood here so I can make sure it's level. But if you look ever so closely, I've already scribed this circle, which is the actual diameter of the uh, air cleaner that I'm be using. Now I'm gonna go a little bit further out of that, but I didn't wanna cut this huge gaping square or circle or big hole in the hood. I wanna do as little cutting as I can, but still try to get some kind of airflow in. So we're probably gonna start with the angle grinder and then we'll take over with the sawzall and see if we can get some cuts going after we do that measuring and uh, see if we can get that hood to shut. Right, guys so we was able to cut somewhat of a circle as it were in the hood now if you squint like really really hard it'll look like a perfect circle see it'll look almost like a circle now so we've got a little bit more take a look all right so we've got it cut there so i just need to fix these here and what i'll end up doing probably also is once i trim that a little bit more tack this up to here We'll do that on both sides as you can see right there and uh, try to make that look a just a tad bit better and uh, from there we'll take this tarp out drop it on there see what it looks like and uh, start moving on from there all right guys so now you see the ovalish <laughs> hole that I made in the hood I got a piece of metal that I'm going to use it's plenty thick uh, it was the bottom uh, foot area of a go-kart so it's pretty thick here take a look at it so that's some pretty pretty thick stuff what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clamp it down this is 14 inches here i do have a little hole there and those corners to make but i can i can easily fix that so i'm going to try and cut as straight as i possibly can on this right here on this line on the edge of this tape line and then i'm gonna take it over to our new tool over here and we'll see if we can get it as flat as possible and go from that then we'll put it back on and all we have to worry about then is uh how tall how high up we want it or if we want it low key so let's All right guys, so I was able to get it cut. So now I'm gonna take it over here uh, to this belt sander and it's pretty close for the most part, but I wanna see if I can get it a little bit better and I'm itching to test this bad boy out. So let's fire it up and uh, see what she does. Now, so far I like this height 
of it. I didn't want it too screamingly loud and too obnoxiously tall or whatever. It seems to be pretty good. So what I see is that the hood has this center line there. So what I'll do is find the center line of this piece of metal that I'm also using so I can be able to put a bend directly in the middle of it. And by doing that, it'll be able to sit on that back piece here level. And once, it, once I do that, I can go ahead and tack that in place, leave the piece of wood right there. And then I can start with my cardboard pieces so I can try and make a template for this right here and then get the cutting and welding and go from there. So there we go. All right guys, so I've already ground down the edge of the top part of my hood scoop. So what I'm gonna do now, I already found the center line of my hood scoop. So now what I'm gonna do from there is I'm going to clamp it and then I'm going to try and put a slight little bend in it as it were. Don't excuse that little bright spot. Uh, it's been a little bit of heat so I gotta, gotta spray that and scrape that off. Anyway, I found the center line so now I'm going to bend it a tad bit so it matches the hood. I can see exactly what height that I like it and then I can go ahead and get some cardboard and mock up the sides and uh, from the rest of the metal I have there go ahead and cut those and ground those down and uh, get going. So here we go. All right guys, so we went on ahead and cut the ends of the hood scoop. It's two of them here. So I've got them clamped together so I can go ahead and take it here and see if we can kind of grind each and every side flat and exactly the same with each other. And uh, then we'll see about throwing a couple tack welds on it and then take it out and start test fit and see what we got. Alright guys, so you guys just saw me take uh, that part that I made from the cardboard template and I took it on my grinder here that's behind me and we went on ahead and tried to grind and, and get it as straight as possible but that's a whole nother story. You guys seen the last video. Uh, so I have been working on the hood scoop and this is right here what we got going on. So this is the hood scoop and we've got it welded on both sides. Uh, on the inside you still can see that little line there little bit there but we did a bunch of grinding I got both of my angle grinders with separate attachments to them so they can work this side is getting there as well it's getting there we still you still see I got a little wookie wookie going on there but it's getting a whole lot better and this looks pretty good we've got some final touches and then we already test fit it on the car and then I'll just start marking everything off and uh, going from there so that's what we have for the hood scoop. So I think it came out pretty good. Did some tack welds on the inside. Doesn't look all that pretty. Don't judge me, I know. But uh, there we go. So that's me making the hood scoop. So the next couple videos down the road maybe I will show welding it on and everything, which hopefully be pretty soon since I still have a big hole in the. All right guys, so you see that there's a whole nother day, I got a new shirt on. And you just seen the progress that I made on the hood scoop itself. Uh, the next step that I will be doing is putting on the car, measuring everything, lining everything up, and then from there I'll go ahead and start laying some tack welds in, and once we get that thing fully in and secure, we'll do a, a thin skim, skim layer of some kind of uh, bondo, for lack of a better term, that's a little bit more flexible. I forgot what it was. I was looking at it. But we'll use that and sand everything down and try to get everything pretty, and then shoot that hood with some paint but that'll come a little bit further on down the road so that's it for today uh, i hope to try and show a little bit more of grinding and welding and stuff like that uh, i'm gonna try and see if i can get one of those knockoff gopros or whatever that's got like a time lapse feature so i can use that to kind of put it with some music or whatever and 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 show you just a little bit more of what i do instead of just clips in and out so that's it for today thanks guys for checking in uh, if you like this video, please drop a like below. If you have a comment or a suggestion on how I can get better at the crappy stuff that I do here, please uh, drop a comment below. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.